Hey, this is Matt Winning at winningstrength.com, and we're at Rabbit powered by Riker. And today we are going to take out the 440 Magnum and start the preparation into the Hellcat swap. Now, we've got the entire engine unhooked, headers, all the electric stuff, and now we're working the engine out of the frame. There there we go. So now what we're gonna have to do is loosen up this K member and that'll give us enough room to get the engine out because of this monster oil pan. So when they built this engine, this engine's probably 450 horsepower on a good day, which is awesome for an old school big block. But we're getting ready to replace this with 800 horsepower. So all of this stuff is gonna have to completely change in order for us to have a car that's not only functional, but won't break. The K member, as we talked about, is the front whole mechanism of the entire car and it's literally held on with four bolts kind of scary yeah with some of this heavy bolts and just in general um and it really takes a a lot of tools to do this kind of work as you can see we're doing a lot of hand fabricating on this car making ready a electronic latch system when this goes down it locks it down for any bumps or anything you'd be hitting so and it all it takes an enormous amount of equipment it takes a quality tool because we're punishing them and um, you'll hear it in a little bit to get those big bolts out of that one it's going to take a lot of hitting the motor's kind of stuck on it isn't it all right so now what we're into is we got we still got it in a bind the k member's not letting us move enough so what we're going to do is remove the drive shaft I found a good reason not to be beefcake. Can't fit in this fucker. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna slightly set, set it on the ground. Yep. Whew. So here we are pulling the engine out. We had to remove the drive shaft. We had to relieve some of the pressure off the transmission. And because this thing has such a deep sump oil pan from aftermarket, uh, probably at some point for somebody to put more oil in it, which isn't a bad thing. Um, but it just makes it harder to get out of the engine. This is the kind of stuff you run into when you're, when you're taking apart cars. It's not always gonna go exactly the way you think it is, but when you got all the right tools, we got all the right education and knowledge that these guys are doing, this stuff is just hammering away. So we're still gonna have this engine out really fast. You got it? All right. Right now. Stay right there. Right here you can see that oil pan is what was holding us up while we had good all that disconnection of the transmission and everything. We're clear. Alright. Now that part is a 440. That rolls the streets in the 70s, man. Now, do you see that little burn mark right there? Yep. That's your timing mark. Okay. So if you advance the timing, it goes down. If you retard the timing, you'll up. see that burn go up. Let's look at some variables here. That engine's still in the car. And I wanted to make the most power I could make out of this engine. Does it need to be a little leaner? And not but, worried about reliability. But we've been idling. Yeah, yeah. And see, when you idle, it's a little richer. Okay. So at wide open throttle, in order to get the perfect burn on the plug, you would want to make a pass down a drag strip, run across the finish line, shut the motor off. And, and then you check it immediately that, with no idling. No idling. All the, through the years, you've seen guys, they get the plug out of the car, they take the little magnifying glass and look at that. That's how they're tuning the car. Spark plugs are important. So we know now spark plugs are super important. You know the timing of them. You know how lean and rich they're running. You know if it's damaging the engine and if you're making the right power for what you got. So the engine is the lifeblood of a car. And it's also one of the heaviest pieces of the car. So I'm guesstimating that 440 Magnum, even with aluminum heads, probably weighs close to six, maybe 700 pounds. So as you can see, it's desolate in here now and it's raised the front end almost three and a half, four inches. Now what's even crazier, and a lot of people don't know this, but Mopars of this year have torsion bar suspension. It uses like a suspended rod to actually create tension. It's not springs. So if you look under a Mopar car, you're not gonna see coils like on a regular car. You're gonna see these big, long steel rods and they're under tension and that's suspension. But as you can see, the fender line was probably about here when we started, and now it's here. But when we put that bad boy in, it's gonna weigh it back down again. You see this crazy fucker they're building? 
1600 horsepower all-wheel drive all right so the first thing you want to do or the last thing you want to do on every job is always clean your tools and just put them back so um, what you do is as you can see this is pretty well organized I just finished organizing this so I'm gonna put everything back in its place now what this is gonna do is it's gonna allow me when I come back to work on this to find the tools effectively not trip over them you know you're in a shop with six eight other people working you need to make sure that you're conscientious of them of those people um, the other thing too is, is like just clean up your mess so we're cleaning up all the fluids that were dropped we're cleaning up all the tools we've we've done a bunch of work today but I wanted to make sure you guys understand to clean your tools one of the good things about our big things about pulling apart a car is we always take the bolts out and then we label them and put them in a bag so these are the K member bolts so we're gonna put them there there's four of them and then they're gonna be labeled. Now this helps you if you're ever reassembling the car. So now we know where these bolts come from. So as you can see, we've already been doing that to the whole engine. Thanks for tuning in today. You got to see the 440 Magnum come out of the 70 Charger to get ready for the big Hellcat motor. We're gonna start getting all the little stuff out like the transmission and the headers. So stay tuned for some more episodes when we start getting down and dirty on welding the floor pan and start to fit the new engine. Look <laughs> how much raw gas we just sprayed into that fucking rear end. <laughs>